Hey, John Prevost here for Whistlebiz.com. Thanks for tuning in again today. Today is part nine of our LID series, Learning, Improving, and Discovery series. Yesterday, we jumped into talking about what a good hedgehog concept looks like. We talked about basically what can we do better than anybody else in the world. Great question, great place to start. Second place is going to be today, and it's going to be about the economic denominator, basically being able to understand what is the most important economic denominator that will differentiate ourselves and that we will try to maximize. So specifically, the companies uh, in good to great talk about uh, basically having a deep understanding of their place uh, in the industry and, and the market, as well as, as what, what they are good at and, and had a deep economic understanding of that. And they came up to a very, they came, it all boiled down to a very simple construct, a very simple rate ratio that we will look at and it's just and it's and it's also a good place to start to be able to begin uh, discussion of this point which is the ratio is profit per what profit per uh, uh, goods manufactured profit per per transaction profit per employee there's a lot of different possibilities of what could be a good economic denominator and in fact it's a great place to start having the, the debate start questioning that um, and and again it's it's one thing that's more important to ask the question than necessarily have the perfect answer especially up front you won't we know that right this is an iterative thing um, but but it's a great place to have a very simple um, understanding of the economic priority within the company. So by doing that, we, again, liberate uh, everybody in the company to be able to understand what is the most important. People can say, is my task right here uh, helping maximize the profitability of, um, of each transaction? Is it maximizing the profitability of every project engagement? Are we doing the right projects? If, 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 if profitability needs to be maximized within our projects, are, are we doing the right ones? Uh, maybe your project has a different view. Maybe it's not about resources and time and, and scope of work, but if it's about profitability, then that means that it, it may be okay for it to be a couple days longer if profitability is up by, let's say, 18% or something. So it, it, it liberates uh, the, the employees. It, it, it brings a lot of certainty and understanding and clarity to what is important economically to the company. And so it's great on, again, it's great organizationally like that. It's a great high-level understanding of that. But, but also... What's good is we can look at it again, we're gonna bring it back down to the d departmental or group level to be able to really understand and ask the question, what is the most important uh, thing to us? What, uh, it could be profit per something, it could be um, projects turned around in a certain amount of time, it could be a lot of stuff. It's a great measurable to be able to have within a small group to be able to look at that kind of a ratio as well. Like, again, it could be profit. You could change both sides of that to be able to say it could be revenue by uh, the amount of sales. If you're in, you know, in the, in the sales organization, it could be, you know, different things. And it would be a great place to be able to have a starting point for metrics within those groups. And again, as, as a manager in that group, how am I liberating my sales force by being able to say, this is what you care about. This is the decider. This is what you're being measured on. This one thing. You don't have. It clarifies all that noise and all that fog about what's important to us. This is the economic decider. Uh, and and so that's it for today. So that's it again on the organizational side for the hedgehog concept, uh, being able to understand profit per x that ratio and then be able to understand it as well and be able to apply it to a group level understanding uh, what by what to be able to have a, a measurable for that as well. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, look forward to delving more into the headshot concept next week. Have a great Friday. Thanks so much. Bye.